Hey y'all, I am so excited. Like this past week, I had a surreal moment from going back into the classroom that I am finally going to be teaching with the curriculum that I have spent the last five years creating. And I just had this like surreal moment. Maybe you saw my Insta stories and I just shared my feelings about it. And it just has me really excited about the upcoming week because we have spent the past week and a half in second grade really focusing on routines and procedures. And so starting this week, it's going to be our first week teaching actual curriculum. And we're gonna be diving into addition and subtraction strategies. And so today I am prepping our beaded number lines from my second grade addition and subtraction unit. And so I wanted to show you how I prep these why I use them, and then show you a couple of activities that you can use with a beaded number line. So if you're ready, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button below, and let's dive in and get started. A beaded number line is actually one of my favorite math tools. It is just a printable number line on cardstock paper, a pipe cleaner and a pony bead, but I love this because the pony bead students can move around and they can actually manipulate the numbers that they are working with. And so I need to prepare a class set because we will be actually using these with our first day of our curriculum. I am prepping a class set and I thought it would be fun to take you along with me to show you how I prepare these. So the first thing you are going to need is a printable number line. If you own my first or second grade guided math units, you will find these. The first grade unit has a number line to 10 and the second grade unit includes a number line to 20. Now, if you don't own my guided math unit, that's okay. You can easily find printable number lines anywhere. You can just do a quick Google search and you will find some, but so the first thing is you're gonna need is a printable number line. Then you are going to need some pipe cleaners and some pony beads. What I did was I printed a class set and I printed mine on cardstock. And now what I need to do is I need to laminate them. I am using my personal Scotch laminator to laminate these. I have two this is actually the old model and i love these for several reasons one just because of the convenience but with especially with cardstock when you laminate it is so much more thicker than the lamination from a school laminator and so to me it just makes it that much more durable and since this is a tool that we are going to use literally all year long, I love having just that extra durability. If you have never used a personal laminator, what it is you just buy these little lamination pouches and you slide your paper in there and then you feed it through. Again, I'm trying to do this one handed. So you feed it through and then it's just gonna run. When it is finished, it's just, it's so much thicker. If you can even tell like this, it's just so much thicker than the school lamination. Now that I have everything laminated, it's time to cut them out. Several years ago, I invested in one of these swing line paper cutters. This thing is legit and it is worth every single penny. It saves me so much time. Now that I have my number lines cut out, they're laminated and you can see here, they're not like really flimsy like the school lamination would be. So now what I wanna do is I want to punch holes to add our pipe cleaners. I am just going to use a regular hole punch and I literally have the worst hole punch ever. I really should invest in a new one, but I am going to punch a hole right above the zero and right above the 20. 
just like that. And now I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that for every single number line. Now we are going to add our pipe cleaner and our pony bead to our number line. For this part, you're going to need some pipe cleaners. I am just using black. And then I am going to use miscellaneous colors of pony beads. I'm going to take a number line and I'm going to thread the pipe cleaner through one end. And I'm gonna fold it over on the back side. And for now, I am just gonna use scotch tape. I'm actually going to recommend using like heavy duty tape or packing tape, but all of mine is currently at my classroom and I am at my house. So temporarily, this is gonna work for right now. And then I am going to choose one pony bead and I'm gonna slide it over, whoops. And then I'm gonna thread it through again. I don't want to pull it too tight because you're going to see it's going to make the cardstock bend. So I'm just going to pull it tight enough to where it's pretty straight. And then I'm going to fold it over again on the back side and I'm going to secure with some more tape. And so probably what I will do, because I do need these for tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and make mine just using this regular scotch tape. And then tomorrow I will probably get some packing tape and put a strip of packing tape here to secure it even more. But so now you can see that you can take the pony bead and you can slide it to manipulate the numbers that you are using. They would take their beaded number line and they would slide it to represent three. And then for plus two, trying to do this upside down, they would slide their bead one, two, to show that the answer is five. And so we will use these all throughout our addition and subtraction units and then all throughout the year as well. Once we finish using these this week, we will add them to our math tubs so that students always have them to use throughout the year. So let me show you, this is gonna be the exact activity that we are doing tomorrow. How this works is we are going to use dominoes and also practice turnaround facts. So let's say, for example, the domino says two plus five. So what they're gonna do is they are going to draw their domino here in this blank. So they'll draw the domino, then they'll write two plus five, and they're gonna use the number line to manipulate the math fact and solve for the sum. So we're starting out on two, and then they'll slide it, one, two, three, four, five, and it shows that the sum is seven. Then they'll create the turnaround fact. So they'll take the domino and they're going to flip it. Then they are going to have five plus two and they'll use their number line. So they'll start at five and slide it one, two. That's hard to do upside down. One, two, two equal the sum of seven. Once we are finished with these, we will add them to our math tubs so that we have these interactive number lines to use all year long. You can find these in my addition and subtraction strategies unit. I am going to drop that link below this video. And if you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to leave me a comment. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.